I'd like to welcome to another edition of Enrichment with the Gifted Guy. My name's Todd Stanley and I'm the Gifted Guy. And what I'm going to be teaching to you today is how to play the game of Solitaire. Solitaire is a card game and it's a card game that you can play by yourself. So this is a great opportunity if, if like you don't have the chance to go play with your friends or your family's too busy to play games or they're, you know, they're doing things and you just need to, you know, kind of strengthen and exercise your mind by yourself. This is a good way to do that. Um, solitaire is a real simple, and there's lots of variations on solitaire. I'm just going to show you the real simple version um, of how to play. So I'm going to go over the basic rules of how to play solitaire. And then I'm going to show you what this looks like. Um, but this gives a chance for people who are um, who would do better with written directions. You can see these directions and how the rules have to play. And then, like I said, I'll show others um, so you can see what that looks like. Solitaire, like I said, is a card game. It uses a regular deck of cards, which has 52 cards in it. And uh, there, like I said, there are lots of variations you can play, but the, the most common one is what's called Klondike Solitaire, which is what I'm going to show you how to play. So how you set it up is you set the cards up into seven columns, and I'll show you the picture of what that looks like in just a second. The first column has one card. The, on the far left has one card. The second column has two, and then three, and then four, and then all the way to you have seven in the seventh column. Um, and then what you do is... And you can see how it's placed here. You have the one card here and then one card and then the other ones are all face down and so on and so forth through all these piles. So you cannot play these cards that are not revealed until this card on top has been moved to another pile or put into what's called the foundation. The object of the game is to fill the four foundations, which are these four spots here, 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 and here. Uh, building the cards up from the ace of a certain suit all the way to the king of that same suit. So for example, if you have the ace of diamonds, you would have to put the ace of diamonds and on top of that, the two of diamonds and then the three of diamonds and you have to sequentially go up until you get to the king of diamonds. And once you've reached that king, you have completed the foundation. And so your goal is to complete all four of those foundations. You can't play cards onto the foundation unless they're exposed. So that's why you have these different piles is to move cards around to enable you to expose the cards that you need to lay in the foundation. And so that's your goal is to get these cards stacked by suit and order, starting with the ace and going all the way to the king. These, these right here, these piles, however, actually work best if you start with the king and you work your way backwards. In other words, you, and, and not only that, it has to be every other one is a different color. So in other words, if I have the king of hearts at the top of, the, the, of one of these, these uh, columns right here, then I have to have a, uh, I had to have a black queen underneath that, and then a red jack, and then a black 10, and then a red 9, and all the way down until I can get to, to a 2, and then play those on the foundations. Um, and when you play, so when you, so let's say I took a card, I moved this 9 of diamonds over to another place, and there's an empty spot. Just because you have an empty spot, well, empty column, does not mean you can throw any card on there. You can only put a king on an empty spot. Um, but your goal is to try to move these cards into different piles because as soon as you, let's say I took this king, I move that nine of diamonds, and I move this king of diamonds over to the empty spot, the card underneath it then becomes revealed. And I'm allowed to use that card, but only I can only use it when it's become revealed. Um, and so again, the object of the game is eventually by the end, you have moved these cards around in such a way that you're able to play all the cards in their foundation. It doesn't always work. In other words, when you play, um, sometimes you get stuck or it doesn't work out or that the, there are cards that are buried that are too important. Um, but, you know, for the most part, you should you should be able to be successful in playing. As I explained in the rules, you play with a regular deck of cards that has 52 cards. So which the first thing you want to do is take those cards and you want to shuffle them. So you could shuffle them in a, in a pattern like that. If you're not, if you don't know how to do that type of shuffle, you can just shuffle like this. But they go back and forth. But you're shuffling the cards and then you're going to use all 52 of these cards. You're not going to use the jokers of the deck. Those aren't usually part of the 52 cards. Um, so you're getting rid of, you're taking the jokers out and then you're just playing these cards. So the way this works is, 
you're going to lay, you're going to start your first column by laying a card. Then you have second column with a card that's face down and then one revealed. The next second column, or third column, has three cards, two down, one revealed, and so on and so forth. And so you have created yourself seven columns worth, and you're always adding an additional card to each column. So you're eventually going to have seven cards total in one of these columns. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is my last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then reveal. Then this becomes my cards I'm going to work with, and then these, these are where I'm going to lay my foundations. So the first thing you want to do is look at your cards that are out there and see if you can start to move any. So I can move this Ace of Diamonds over to start a foundation, and because I've revealed I've taken this spot, I can now turn over this first card and place it right there. And so let's see if I can do anything else. Um, I really can't because um, I, I just can't play any on this. So because there's no opposite colors that are lower than that are up here. So what I start to do then is I start to reveal cards. So now I'm starting with my pile. And I can't play that anywhere. There's a king. But I can't play anywhere because there's no empty spot. So I have to eventually come up with an empty spot. So I'm just going to go through this. I don't have any luck so far. But that, that's okay if it's your first time through. You may run across the where you don't aren't, aren't matching anything. Another king. I can't play that. A queen would be great. We can't play that. Goodness. There we go. So I can play that seven. Because it's opposite color. So I have a red and I have a black. Now... I can take the six and place it on this pile, which allows me to reveal this card. And that's a two of, of diamonds, which can go on my foundation. So I can start to start, start to build my foundation up. So let's see if I can't pull some more cards out here. And it's okay if you run out of this pile, you just turn it over and start over again. Oh, I'm sorry, I get to reveal a card here. So now I can put that two right there. I, get, I can reveal this card. So I'm almost gotten this pile completely revealed. I can place that there. And reveal this card. Ooh, that's another ace. So now I have a free spot. So now if a king comes up, I can place it there. Let's see if there's anything else where I can place right now. I don't think there... Oh, yep, I can take this two of clubs and start its foundation. So I'm just going to move through these cards. A five goes there. I don't have a black four I can play though. This Queens will come into play later. I can now place that two right there. A four right there. And now that I have that four, I can place that three, two. And so this, this pile, and keep in mind, I can move, I don't just, I can, I can move, now that I have this stack, if I had a red seven, I can move the entire stack. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get to that. But for right now, we've got two open spots. So this nine can go there. And here's what I'm talking about. I can take this entire stack of cards and place it because that's every other card is a different color and it's the sequence. So now I reveal this card. Got an ace. That goes right there. I reveal this card. Six, so I can't really do anything with. So let's go through the rest of these and then I can't place, I can place that right there, and I can place that right there. So now that I'm done with this pile, I turn it back over, and I start it again. And we, if you get really good at solitaire, the way it may look is you may try to get it as, in as few moves as possible, but my goal is just always just to get the foundations done. It doesn't matter how long it really takes. So that can't play anywhere. That can't play anywhere. There's a king now, so I can lay my king. Now remember, I can only have seven columns, so I still have an empty spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that king is now exposed. The six cannot be played. The four can. And now I can take this three and two off of here and place it right there. And reveal this card. Oh, we've got another king, so I can put it, place it over in that empty spot. Turn over this card, and I have a jack. So... Then I keep going through my deck, 
trying to play so I could play this three of and build my foundations. And keep in mind, I still am missing my heart foundation because I haven't run across that ace. It's got to be buried somewhere in here. So what that means is I have to try to get these cards off of there so that I can reveal the ace. So let's see if I can, oh, that jack, that 10 can go on that jack. I play the 110. I got another king. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't lay this yet because I don't have an empty spot yet. I'm gonna have to try to find an empty spot. Uh, I can't lay that. Can't lay that. I can lay that. And now I can take this really big pile right here and place it over here with my sequence all the way from king to two. So now what that means is I've got all those, that, that pretty much is completed and now I can start to just take cards off of there and put it on the foundation as they come up. If I'm gonna reveal this card. This is a seven of clubs. I, get to pl I can play that six there. This is a four of uh, spades, which I really can't play anywhere right now, but this column is done. I can't place any more cards on it because it's, it's done the entire sequence. But let's go ahead and go through the rest of these and see if we can, there's another queen I can lay. Can't lay that one yet. I can lay that jack, which means I can lay this 10, which means I can reveal this card and another jack. Can't do anything with that right now. And then there's a red five that doesn't really help me at this point. So again, now I take these cards and I flip them over again. But you notice the, the pile is much, it's not as, as thick as it was before because I'm starting to peel off cards. So I you just keep going through the sequence. Nothing there. Nothing there. And like I said, it doesn't always work out in solitaire. So whereas um, you're able to place all the cards, you might just get stuck. And so we'll see if we get stuck here. Still can't play that king. Here's something I can do, and this is where it gets kind of good with strategy, is I can play a four of clubs here, but my four of clubs is buried. But my four of spade is exposed, so I can take this three, two, and I can move it over to there. And then I can play this four of clubs, and then watch what I can do. I can then move this, car, this pile back. And now I revealed another card. Got my ace of hearts. So now we have all of our, so now I can take this two of hearts and place it. So now I have all four foundations started, which means I can play this two of spades, this three, this three, this four. And you want to be careful you don't place them all because then you'll run out of, of ones that you can sequence in other places. But I do, and so now I can reveal this card. So that's a nine. Um, and so I think we're going to be able to get this one completed because now I can take this king and place it there. Let's see if I have anything else that I can play right now. I don't think I can. So I can place that queen. I can place that eight. And now that I have that eight exposed, the seven, six can go on top of that, which leaves this. So all I've got left now, oh, and this five can go there. So now I've got an empty spot again. If I have a king comes up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and an empty spot. So these six cards are the only cards left not exposed. And so I have to try to get those exposed. So here's, I can play this jack and 10 there, exposing that nine, which goes there, exposing another nine, which can go there. And so now I've gotten all those in that pile. Now I can take that six, six, five and place it on top of the seven, the red seven. I can reveal this card. This three of diamonds can go on the foundation pile. This king can go in its empty spot. So now I have revealed every single card. So what that means now is I should be able to get all my foundations. So let's see here. I do four, five, five, six. So you can see I can just start to fill in these. now. I still have these cards, but these can all be played places. Like I can play that one there. I can play that one there. I can play now the six. Let's see here. I can play that eight and that seven. 
I can play that seven of, of diamonds. I can play, can I play, yep, if I take this five of clubs, I can play my six of clubs and my seven of clubs. And see, I'm starting to build up these foundations until I'm eventually going to, here's my last card. So now all the cards are out. Now I just have to place them. So I've got my six, seven, seven, eight, eight, there, nine there, um, see, eight there, eight there, and so I can just build this. Then my nine of hearts, my nine of diamonds, my nine of clubs, and then starting to get towards the end here. So now I'm just going to do my ten of spades, my ten of diamonds, ten of hearts, ten of clubs, then our jacks. Our queens and so what we've successfully done is we have uh, built these foundations using the cards in the different piles and so we've gone from an ace all the way into the king and so if I were to look at one of these piles right here you would see I have the king queen jack ten nine eight seven six five four three two ace of diamonds all on one foundation so now that we have all four foundations completed we have been successful in our game of solitaire. There are some people that like to play solitaire on their computer, and, and most computers come with some version of solitaire, and if they don't, you can go to the app and download a free version um, of to play solitaire. And the reason why they like to do it on the computer is it moves a little faster. You don't have to manipulate the cards like you saw that I had to do. Um, and when you get to the end, rather than having to place all those cards like I had to do, you can just put auto-complete, which a lot of games have, which I'll show what that looks like, um, in order to complete it. Um, but I'm going to show you a game because it goes a little bit quicker um, on, when you're doing the, but it has all the things we had before. We have our seven columns, so our seven columns. It has our four foundation piles, and then it has our pile of cards. So again, the first thing you want to do as a strategy is you want to move cards that you can already move. Um, and so I'm going to go with, I have two jacks I could play, but I'm going to go with this big pogs. I want to get rid of these, all of these cards first. I think that's about it I can do. And so then what you start to do is you start to reveal cards. So I got an ace I can play just by clicking on the foundation. I've got an eight, which I can't play anywhere. Can't play that. I can play that seven. Now I can't go back in the pile. I have to go through the pile until, so if I could all of a sudden play this, this eight behind here, but it's blocked by this queen. I have to go through the pile completely and so I can expose it again. So there's a 10. So now I can reveal this card right here. Um, so I can't place that anywhere. There's another ace. And so I'm gonna go through, and this, this pile is gonna be pretty big when I first start, because it's all the cards that aren't on this foundation. But as I start to whittle it down, they will start to be, it'll start to be less and less and less. So I can play that six. I can play that 10. I can take this nine and move that. Now exposing another card. Now got my two of hearts and play that and play this five here. So now we have an empty spot and I have a king available. So what I can do is I can move the king over to, oh, and I get a queen out of it too. And so now I can take this jack, this big pile and put it on, on here. And I can move this four to here. And eventually, like I said, you're trying to do the king all the way down to the two every other color. You're just, that you're just doing that so you can eventually put them onto the foundation. Um, oh, we got rid of a lot of cards there. So let's see what else we can come up with. So this six is going to go there. This 10 cannot be played. The five can. The king, I can move to an empty spot, empty column, move this queen over and expose this, this card. I have that. Foundation started, so I can put the two. I got another ace out of it. Um, see, I can't do anything with that three right now. Got another king. Let's move that over to there. Um, see, I have a three, but I can't do anything with it up here because the, the um, ace of clubs is probably either buried in here or has still not been revealed in this uh, sequence of cards I'm going through. So there's that. Now, I can move this seven over to here. But 
I want to move this one because I'm going to expose the cards. So I'm going to move the ones that can allow me to expose cards. You Sometimes you have to make decisions like that. Um, so there's a four of diamonds doesn't help me. Another king. Problem is I don't have any spots to place it. So I'm just going to have to leave it in the pile for right now. There's my ace that I've been waiting for. Um, there's a four I can place there. I can't place that. I can place this three on this pile. And so... Now that it's gotten to the end, I just click on this and it starts all over again. Uh, and then I can now, now cards I couldn't play, bef play before, I can now because other cards have been exposed. So this queen can now be played because we were able to let, loosen up that king from another spot. You have this four of spades, which goes right there. Uh, this queen, we can't do anything with right this very moment. Um, this jack, I can play right here. Let's see if we can get something. I can play this eight here. So we still have these cards right here are all still buried. So I'm, I'm trying to free up these piles by putting them someplace else. So I can do that now because I just did that. That frees up this spot. So I can place that five of spades there. Um, I can't do anything more. I would love to see the two of diamonds. I'm sure it, it's it's got to be buried in one of those six cards. Uh, so I can't do anything with the four of diamonds because I don't have the two of diamonds. So let's see here. Got a king, but can't expose it yet. I can play this seven here. Now, what we're starting to get down to now is me not because I can't expose some of these cards, I am having difficulty placing card oh, I can place this here now this is where this happens so now that I free up this column I can place that king when it comes along can't place that I can't place that we only have two cards left actually one card left now in this pile but I can move this queen over to here expose a six expose that two which allows me to start that sequence of doing the um this this three is still stuck and I have a four right here. Uh, let's see if we can't do anything. I don't think we can. Um, let's see if we can't manipulate some things though. So I have, nope, I can play that six. Well, I think that's it, I think we're stuck. We're, so we have these four cards here that have not yet been revealed. We've had it all, four of our kings have started, their piles, but because that the black 10, the other 10, which was the 10 of spades, is buried between here. I can't place it here and then pull this off. So our, our game is essentially done because um, I'm stuck. And that happens sometimes in solitaire, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if I played it a little bit differently, it might have been gone differently. So I can always, when I go to my uh, menu, I can always um, restart the game um, so that I can try it again. Because seemingly every single solitaire sequence can be solved um depending and you just have to play the cards the right way and so there were things decisions i made in there that i could have made differently that might have changed things uh, but this happens and it's no big deal and uh when you do that then you can just go and you can start so i'm going to start um a regular game and it's going to start all over again and so that's how you play solitaire on your computer. Um, like I said, it's, you can play it on your phone. You can play it on your iPad. It doesn't have to be on the computer. There's a free free apps for the solitaire. But it's a really good game to play, um, to, to exercise your brain, to get it thinking, to get it looking for patterns. Um, and it's a game that you can play by yourself. So you don't need anyone else. As a matter of fact, there's no such thing as a two-player solitaire, solitaire game. And you could certainly work with another person but it's, it's usually a, a game that you play by yourself. And so it, it's a good one uh, if you're isolated uh, and, and don't have anyone that you can play with at that time. It's, it's a good way to keep yourself busy.